right, in this video, we are going to go over how to create a workbook or worksheet using Canva. I'm going to show you an example of a workbook that I've already created, and then I'm going to show you how to create one from scratch. And so let's look at, let's see, the product pricing workbook. So this is a workbook that I use with my consultants, or sorry, my clients. Um, and again, it was all created in Canva and it's really not that hard, uh, especially after you get the hang of things and it's really repetition. Um, and so I created the, um, cover for the workbook, table of contents, any, uh, necessary vocabulary that the client may not, um, understand. And then I started creating the, um, chapter or um, section, um, cover sheets. There you go. And then there is the section information. And so it's literally that repeated. And so this is another kind of table of contents. Um, but it tells you specifically what's in here in the, uh, in the specific chapters. And so after that, I have the information, um, examples, which I do a lot of uh, examples, practice, uh, and then there's the next session or section. Now, some of these workbooks may um, just be as simple as putting charts and graphs and things that the client needs to fill out. Um, and this graph, this uh, chart I created in Canva and I just saved it as a picture, PNG, um, and you can save them, your pictures as PNG or JPEGs. I generally save it as PNG. I will say, if you're going to upload anything to uh, iCloud or um, photos on iCloud, it has to be a JPEG. It can't be a PNG. So uh, again, uh, section cover sheet, and then you have um, your graph and some more information and then another um, kind of template. And so really that's what my worksheets look like. And then at the end of every, or sorry, workbooks, but at the end of every workbook, I have all of my contact information so that in case the client wants to um, connect with me on, you know, via email, website, social media, they have all of my contact information here. And so that is an example of an existing workbook. Now we're going to create one from scratch. And so on the home page, I'm going to go up here and type in workbook. It's going to give you two uh, options. You can either choose from templates or you can choose from your own designs. As you see, I have a few of my own designs, but let's go to templates so that we can see how to create it from scratch. Um, but just as an example of some of the templates that you can use to start off from scratch uh, here, this looks like a pretty okay template um, and it has 18 pages already. And that's really, really good. Um, the more pages, the less you have to create yourself. Um, and so a lot of these look pretty good. And so this is a template I would use. And, um, and I actually start it. There we go. And so if you find a template that you think you could use now, or maybe in the future, star it so that you can find it, um, quicker in the future. Another example of a good one. This one is okay. It's specifically for coaching. So that could work. Uh, let's see. Some of these are just, uh, cover pages. Um, and so if you hover over, um, any of these designs, it'll say X of 12 or something of, you know, 30. Um, and that means that there's, you know, obviously more than one page. And so those are generally the ones that I gravitate toward because the more pages that are already created, the less work that I have to do now with Canva, let's just use this as an example with Canva, you cannot create something and then uh, without changing it and then sell it. Um, that is against their rules. And so if you choose a template and you say, I love this, uh, you have to change it. So not slightly, you really do have to change it uh, quite a bit so that we have the option to sell this. And so an example of that would be, I would, you know, move this over here, maybe.
you're getting an idea of um, what we have to do. And so we changed the frame, we changed the picture, we changed the border, we switched up the um, the shapes. Uh, let's see, there we go. We switched up the shapes, we changed the fonts, there we go. And so we would have to do that or something similar to that for every page. Now, what's gonna make this easier is the workbooks that I've already created, I kind of stick with that that uh, design. It's just easier instead of you know selecting a template um, and then having to change almost everything. But if you see a template that you think would work better for a specific um, a specific book or action guide or anything like that, again, you would just have to change um, at least fifty percent of the design. Uh, to allow us to have the option to sell it in the future. And so really that's how you create a workbook. Um, here, what we would do is, you know, change again, change the design, uh, change that up, maybe put that uh, up here, put that there, change the picture, um, take that out, take these out, and then, you know, make these longer and you see those lines that come up that square or that rectangle that comes up i try to keep all of my text within that rectangle within that purple rectangle right there right and then i try to if i have two boxes of text like i do you see how there's a dotted line at the bottom underneath there that means that they're lined up according to the bottom justification um that would be the middle of the actual entire page um, that, that purple line that's going straight across. Uh, and then there should be a dotted line that comes up. No, it doesn't want to. There, there, there it is. There may be a dotted line that comes up uh, right there at the top. That means that they're, the two text boxes are lined up um, at the top. But usually, you know, I would do that. Let me show you the, let me show you my book. Uh, to give you an idea of how I would format um, something like that. Now, any ebook, I would just keep this format. As you see, uh, this is the same format as this, the cover page and everything, same thing, almost same. And for workbooks, um, this is pretty similar to this workbook, to how it, the layout table of contents, table of contents here, course vocabulary, course vocabulary here, the cover page for a specific section, same thing, charts, graphs, here are the specific uh, things that we're going to go over in the workbook, there you go, same thing, and so you see for the workbooks, I have pretty much the same thing depending on uh, the content. And so for this workbook, it's, it's it's exactly the same format. Questions, lines to allow the, the client or the student to answer. Same thing with this. Questions, lines to allow the student or the um, client to answer. Now, if you're creating a workbook from scratch and you are using a prior, um, a previously created workbook as a template, you would just go to workbook just like we did before and you would create or you would uh take one of these templates that only has one page so let's do this one now there's probably an easier way to do this but this is how i do it i select everything just drag your mouse over everything holding the uh left button delete that and then click on it again delete it now you have a clean slate clean canvas to work with sorry my dog's barking in the background all right, and then usually I add pages because, you know, it's going to be more than one page. So I start with five or 10 pages. And the first page is going to be our cover. And so these are pretty much the same, but let's say this is going to be about, uh, and I usually change the title before I forget. Um, let's say this is going to be about um, social media. That's actually my next topic with my client. All right, so social media strategy and guide. And so what I could do is I could use this template right here, 
drag your mouse over the whole cover page, copy, and click on this page, on your blank page, and paste. Now you see it didn't come out as big as it did here. Actually, did it? Oh, that's because it, we're zoomed in. All right, so this is 55%, uh, so let's, let's make it, let's zoom in a little bit. All right, and so the difference between these is that the background is turquoise in the other one. And so I selected the entire sheet, not, not dragged it. I just clicked on the background that's white because that's what we want to change the color of. You click on teal and there you go. Now it's still not the same. Um, it's still not the same size or scale. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to select this uh, box, the black box and everything in it, including the word workbook underneath. It's all selected and I'm going to drag it to make it bigger. And uh, before I uh, unselect all of those, I'm going to click over to the other one and see how that is, um, how that's scaled. Actually, this one is taller now if you say all right I want it to be the exact same size as the other one come up here to resize it will tell you what size this is so this is eight and a half by 11 inches go back to the one you're working on click on resize this is bigger so let's do eight and a half 11 make sure it's inches and it might change like that so let's do it again eight and a half 11 and instead of copying this and resizing it we just want to resize this so just click resize and there we go and so now when we change everything if we select all of this drag and select all of it and spread that out it should look very similar there we go there we go all right cool so this one again is they're not the same scale uh actually let's go to 75 for both of them and they should look fairly the same. All right, cool. So there we go. So again, that's how um, using another workbook as a template would work. Now this is, uh, let's see, and make sure you're working on the correct one. Double check the title before you change anything. And so this is for social media, social media strategy and guide. So. Just if you want to see how they look, you drag it over and don't let go of your mouse button so that you can see how it looks. So there you go. Now, again, the background, everything doesn't have to be the exact same. I could make it that. I could make it that. I can keep it white. Um, I could make it gold. So... There you go. So that's how we would copy the template that we already have from another workbook. Again, you're going to have table of contents and you're always going to have your, uh, you're always going to have the logo for the company up in the corner, either the top corner, top right corner, or in the bottom, depending on what's on the page. So I want to copy all that to page two table of contents. Let's make this a little bit smaller. It's kind of big. So this is an example of how you would create the workbook. Um, one thing that we should copy is the ending page. So you can click on one element. If you want to copy everything on the page, click on one element and control C, sorry, control A, and then control C to copy, go over to your new um, workbook and I'm just since it's the last page I'm gonna go to the last page and I'm gonna hit control V now everything copied except for the background but we may like the background being white um, and so I'm gonna leave that for now 
This is an example of when the branding should go, the logo should go in the bottom corner because there's a picture up here and I would just rather have it there. Another, one more example of how you can use uh, this as a template. You see, I wrote a lot of questions and lines and things. You don't have to worry about redoing the lines and all that, copy everything, uh, control C, go to the one you're working on, click on the canvas, control V to paste. Again, now let's say I'm sick and tired of resizing that branding logo. Click on the logo on a page that has the logo at the correct size. So this one has the logo at the correct size that I want. Click on it, control C for copy, click on the page you're moving to, control V. And then sometimes you can just scroll to the page you're going to, control V. It automatically appears when you do that. You don't have to, you don't have to click on the page. There we go. And that already has it. So that's a shortcut. And so uh, when you do this, all you would have to do is change the, change the topic, change the heading, change the questions. And there you go. That is how you create a workbook in Canva. If you have any questions, let me know. This is the same exact, um, same ex exact method to create a worksheet or an action guide uh, or an ebook. It's all the same. I showed you how to bounce between two different tabs um, and use one as a template. Another way, uh, and this is all assuming you don't know how to do this. Um, another way to do that that's quicker is click resize. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. Click file and make a copy. And so as soon as that copy is created, you go up to the top where the title is and you change the title so that you know what you're working on. So let's delete that social media action guide. Now we're going to close the old one that we made a copy of so that we don't get confused. We're going to close this and there you go. So now all you need to do is change the title and all the text. So action guides and eBooks have something different. They have links at the bottom. Um, they have a little blurb. Um, usually that stuff goes right here at the very end where it says take action. Every action guide is going to have this page that says take action, whether it be the 10th page, the 11th page, the fifth page, it's going to say take action. Why? Because we, that's a call to action. We want people to do something at the end of this guide. That's an example of just copying an existing uh, piece of work and using it as a template and going from there. Uh, again, make sure when you copy a piece of work, you rename it so that you know what you're doing. That is how you create uh, worksheets, workbooks, action guides, and eBooks on Canva. All right. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I will see you in the next video.